NRI finds that though unplanned settlements on state, private or customary land is illegal in Papua New Guinea, there is growing evidence of informal arrangements between landowners and settlers, where migrates employ creative strategies to obtain and maintain access to the land. According to NRI case study, the Tarama Urbanization Pilot Project 2012 was intended to develop customary land at Tarama Valley as a suburb under a partnership arrangement between the government, landowners and developers. However, that project was abandoned when landowners disposed land informally to settlers before the project could be implemented. Landowners informally released their land as a result of the following. Lack of understanding of the purpose of the project due to lack of consultation and engagement with landowners. Landowners wanted to save customary land from what they interpreted as alienation and offered an opportunity to earn cash for meeting livelihood needs. Due to these reasons, the informal customary land transactions resulted in the following impacts. Conflicts between landowners and settlers for selling the same plot of land to different people. Security of tenor is not guaranteed for future generations of settlers. And conflicts between landowner families over decision on land disposal and how the cash is distributed. NRI stated that the state needs to facilitate a process for landowners to work with settlers so that they can maintain ownership of their land and collect ongoing rental dues from settlers. Cynthia Maku, National MTV News.